Well, we're taking the plants from here and we're going to leave them in our garden for a couple of days and then we're going to take them down to more music and plant them into the big boxes so that we have, because they've said they would like to have a Garden of Eden, we're actually planting very freely and wildly because the Garden of Eden obviously is full of all sorts of plants. But eventually, after that, we're hoping to make the surroundings down there a woodland glade. So this is why we're asking for ferns, anything that's woodlandy, foxgloves, anything that, that, that you see in a natural woodland and hoping to build that up for the rest of the year. We're, we're absolutely amazed at the garden and at Kath who's been the donator of all these fabulous plants but otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do the project. I'm so glad that people are taking them away because it's awful when you've got plants that are self-seeded and you're always putting them in the bin, the green bin. You feel this isn't the right thing to do. I know about more music because I lived down the West End when I was a child and I've always, you know, gone back down there. We lived at a lovely place with a flat roof where you got woken every morning by the seagulls stamping up and down. It was a great alarm clock. West End girl.